Heritage Farm uh, Museum and Village is the dream of my wife Henrielle and I. Uh, we moved here in 1973 into a burnt out log house that had no indoor plumbing and one strand of electric lights. The Perry's dream would become a vision for the future of the farm and what it would mean to the people who would come to visit. Well, we, uh, we had always lived in the city and uh, we, had, we had developed an interest in, in antiques as something to do together as a family. Well, we had all these antiques stuff that we had collected before we moved out there. They were stuffed in the barns and we kept antiquing. I mean, that was a pastime and a hobby. We first developed the big barn museum down there. The Perrys found themselves wanting to share these treasures with others now that they were no longer stored away. Not interested in displaying the memorabilia in traditional museum fashion, they arranged the items to show progress and development over time. It was unlike any museum in the area, and its core values have stayed through the building of the other cabins in the entirety of the Heritage Village to this day. Years went into building up the cabins and the farm itself to represent a past that we can not only relate to, but apply to our daily lives thanks to the Perry's hard work and the dozens of volunteers and staff that maintain the farm. Visitors leave with a sense of pride, knowing how difficult it was for their ancestors to survive and sustain a family without the luxury of modern technology. Hopefully by going through the museum and seeing how things, how much things have changed in the past gives them a, a, a feeling and an appreciation of how much things are going to change even more in the future. Michael Perry and his wife Henriella are telling a story of how men and women worked to tame the Appalachian landscape, how progress didn't mean working less, but working more. They have spent decades cultivating the Heritage Farm Museum and Village into what it is today, a place of learning that demonstrates what it really meant to live in Appalachia. That's an extremely important part of our Appalachian heritage, self-sufficiency and independence. That's why our state motto is mountaineers are always free. Uh, and it comes from these marvelous people that uh, were the early settlers and gave us a quality of life that we often take for granted today. Throughout the year, the farm holds many special events where volunteers act as living demonstrations of trade work from the early times. Blacksmithing, spinning, weaving, and quilting. These are representations of what is shown all day long at these events. Visitors learn how neighborly cooperation was a necessity in that time. The activities give children and adults alike the simple comfort of making something on their own and demonstrates how complex life really was. Heritage Farm Museum and Village seeks to teach the important place of Appalachia in the history of the settling of this country showing us how different we were in the past, but also how similar. Being honored as a prime Appalachian destination by National Geographic Traveler and by the Daughters of the American Revolution with a Medal of Historic Preservation, the site lives up to its accolades. Observe the past, gain an appreciation of the present and dream and imagine how much greater and brighter the future can be if we're willing to work as hard as our ancestors. We need to dream big dreams. We need to be willing to work hard and to uh, put some effort to make those dreams a reality. Heritage Farm Museum and Village may hold the very key to understanding our ancestors' past that can unlock the door to our own future. Much like the treasures that the museum houses, Michael and Henry Ella Perry have proven to be gifts of Appalachia. It may not be the ideal retirement life for others, but long ago we decided that we would rather wear out than rust out. So uh, we've enjoyed life uh, immensely.